All right, so I got this uh, JTEC TCM here. Well, it's PCM, but basically a TCM from an 03 RAM. Um, and it come in, it said it's got no communication. So I've got it hooked up. I'm going to turn my ignition on. And uh, I, sh I shouldn't have anything to do with ignition. I got it hooked up here. So I'll power it up. And now the ignition would be on, and I see we only have uh, 200 milliamp pretty much, and uh, that's not right. Usually it should be about um, 320 or 350, something like that. So uh, yeah, that's not right. I, I bet you that we don't have any <clears throat> five volt reference either. So. Uh, uh, since we have that low current consumption, I'm pretty sure I already know what's wrong with it. But uh, let's just check. So let's put this in the ground. I'm not sure where the 5 volt reference is on this one. Let's just look around here. Well, we have 5 volts right there. So that's, that's weird. We have 5 volts there too. Hmm. I'm surprised. I thought we would not have five volts. Uh, anyway, I'm going to open it. We have to open it and see what's going on. So, but I, I do know that's not right. That current is way too low. So the processor is not coming on. So, could be possibly the processor is bad and that the programming is bad. Um, hard, hard to say. This is a remanufactured computer. You can see the sticker here, so there's no telling what we're going to find inside. I was expecting not to see any 5 volt supply at all. I thought that, you know, that was going to be the problem, but now I don't know. this back up so we have our power and grounds here all right now we can check a little bit better about what's going on Okay, so we do have our 5 volt. Let me get the oscilloscope going. Alright, so I got the scope going here. And let's take a look at a couple of things. So this looks this looks normal. I think what it's gonna be is well, I'm getting nothing here. Okay, so right now, I have no activity from the main processor, which, you know, at this point, everything else looks pretty, pretty normal. So I, I actually, I think that it's just the main processor is bad. It's not booting up. And if it's not booting up, it's not telling everything else to, you know, come on because there, there's no signals at all coming out of it. Like you should see you should see some data or something. 
and there's just nothing. That's either high or low, which is not not accurate. That's not right. So yeah. <coughs> Um, so either the programming is gone or this is bad, and I, I think this is bad. So, so I mean, I could try to pull the flash first, take that off, and read it, see if it's you know, see if it's right. If it if it is right, then we know that it's the main chip. <clears throat> so I guess I'll try to do that first, just just in case. The uh, South 44 there is a little bit easier than the uh, 6800 there, but uh, well, at least we know, you know, somewhere to get started, so. So uh, I checked the flash over, and it looks good. So the programming is probably good on it. Um, so I, I'm going to go ahead and cha change the processor here. Um, I have one right here that I'm going to use. So just have to remove this one, put this guy on, and uh, then I'll solder the flash back too, and we'll kind of see how uh, see how that's going to go. Alright, so I've got the uh, main processor soldered on. I have the old flash back on. So the new processor, old flash. Uh, let's see how this is going to go. Right, so this is our ground. This is our well. Let's just hook it up like the ground. Keep alive, and now our ignition. All right. So let's turn it this way in case it blows up. Don't want it to shoot me in the face. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. We see the same thing, so it is not anything to do with the main processor, unless this one is just bad. So I'm just going to check a few things here on the old oscilloscope. Okay, so the only other chips it could be would maybe be this one. Um, so this is like a secondary processor. This is the main processor. This is like a secondary one. But um, we still only have 20 milliamps for some reason, and you know I, I checked the programming on the flash; it seemed all right. We have changed this guy, and we still have the same thing. So I've run into this before 
on other units that have the same setup. And it turned out that this guy was just bringing everything down. So, I have more of him. I just, I'm going to just, rather than try to fault find tons of different stuff, sometimes I just like to swap it out. Like, uh, swapping this guy out is no big deal to me. It just takes five minutes. And generally, when they have power coming into it, the five volts, but it still has no activity. Usually it's dead, like the bootloader, and it just, you know, fried out or whatever. Um, so that's why I replaced that, just because it's so common that that is the, the problem. Um, in this case, it is not. So I'm actually just going to replace this guy now. So I might even actually keep this chip. That's why when I took it off, I took it off gently, just in case. So he is still good. I can put him somewhere else now. But uh, let me cut the power off here. All right, so um, here we are up to 290 milliamps, which is pretty much right for this particular unit. Um, and I, <coughs> here I am. I'm, I'm went ahead and connected in. Uh, this is our part number. That is correct. We got our JTAC transmission for 2003-59. That's right. Um, here we can read our codes. And uh, these are normal codes to see right now because we don't have anything hooked up. Okay, we can go into our live data. It's, everything is functioning properly. So, um, I'm pretty sure it was this chip that was bad. And, um, you know, hindsight, I probably should have checked to see if it was just holding this one in reset. Maybe I could have lifted up the watchdog on this one. And this one would have booted up, and then I wouldn't, you know, had to uh, replace this one. Or, you know, it maybe both of them are bad, because this one commonly goes bad. This one rarely goes bad, to tell you the truth. Um, I very rarely run into this one bad, but I have. I have before. Mostly this one, though. But, <coughs> but anyway, uh, this unit is actually done. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hook up all the sensors and whatnot, and you know, just test basic functions of it, but, uh, yeah, other than that, it, you know, just on the surface here, it looks like it's good to go. The original symptom it come in for was no communication at all, and I know it, you know, 200 milliamps, it wasn't coming on. I, I know that the processor wasn't coming on, and I bet you if we look at our oscilloscope now, now you will actually see now you will actually see some uh data transmission if i can find one no, there you go see that before that was just low but now you can see the data transmission um that's kind of how i you know point to the main processors is when you're not seeing any kind of data transmission but you're seeing the right you know roughly you're seeing current on it and seeing the right voltage at it then i mean it's pretty much solid that it's not coming on for whatever reason and in this case it wasn't coming on because this chip wasn't allowing it to come on uh, but yeah all done that's uh, another one another one done